He say leftover rice. Oh, okay, okay. First step correct. First step correct. Do a beautiful fried classic rice, the nasi goreng. This is. Oh, and he say nasi goreng. You got spare room for me? Maybe. And now, of course, uh, cracking the egg. We're gonna probably do what? Three eggs? Up to you. It's mm -hmm. pretty small. You know, uh, I'm not gonna embarrass myself with ah. trying to crack it one hand. You can't here. do the one hand crack? Yeah, it's so delicious and delicate. Yeah. But it'll be eight years before he can tell the little boys from the big money girls, who can be anything up to the age of 20 before their caviar is ready for harvesting. Now, have you got any fish or chicken or even beef left over? Yes. Fish, chicken, beef. Gordon Ramsay, not vegan. Gordon, if you want to use chicken, use the chicken behind you. They are just right there. They right there. This chicken so stupid. Hiya. Chicken, if you want to stay alive, don't go near chef who's cooking egg fried rice. Keep the heat in the wok. Okay. Nice tossing. Good, nice, traditional. Sometimes we eat skin with sugar also. And now comes the best part. In China, Peking duck is actually... Mm, look at his face, look at his face. That's the face of man experiencing true love. Okay, now click on uh, a video so we can kind of hear it. Hoy, mis amigos y yo volveremos a la primaria. Yeah. Al final de la clase uh, haremos un examen de 10 preguntas. Y si te and so scroll down de dos, so we can see the comments. Uh, it's, it's all in uh, Spanish. Like That's dope. Yeah, so that's... Uh, now, just... Uh, I won't pull them all up. But now in just the other search, countries? Yeah, search Mr. Beast Brazil. We do a, oh, a bunch of them. Oh, so you got a Portuguese translator as well. Yeah. Wow, that's dope. Yeah, same thing here. I love here. it. Oh, uh, man. Uh, it's, what a great idea, man. Yeah, and so... Because, you know, uh, if you Google it, it's like only, whatever, less than 10% of the world speaks English. So 90% of the world mm. can't even enjoy your content. And when, and when I realized that, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> 90% of my, the world can't even watch this stuff. Uh, the trick is to catch the eggs at their optimum quality before the fish spawns naturally. But this beauty isn't quite ready yet. Possibly six months. Really? We'll, we'll give it another, another, another scan right. uh, and see how it's getting on. We just try and turn it around. Yeah, come on. Okay. Go. Oh shit. Okay. There you go. And then just slowly push it off, just, just very, very calmly. When the sturgeon are ready, they're killed and sent for a clinical extraction. The Nuru's holiday symbolizes the New Year, not the one that is usually celebrated on December 31st. We celebrate the New Year on March 21st. It's like dawn. This is a new life. The celebration of Nuru's also symbolizes the beginning of field work in spring. Nuru's is also called the Peasants' Day. On that day, trees are being planted and the greenery is blooming. The peasants begin to work. On this day, people take a rest, entertaining themselves with songs and dances. Can you imagine that today is 25 degrees Celsius in Ashgabat? Mountains are already green, tulips have already started blossoming, and there are people walking in the streets. They cook special dishes such as plov and dolma and wish each other well. As you can see, Laila and I are celebrating in style with traditional Tajik clothing. We have come together at this small souffre to personally share with you the excitement and fun that surrounds this special holiday. Nowruz is a 13-day celebration of the Persian New Year, and it's observed by a lot of people, over 300 million worldwide. Oh, there you go. These are nice, aggressive bites. That's what I would do. Good, thumbs up. We found a winner here with Twix. Have they ever tasted something like that before? Well, I hope you like it. One more is going to try it. We found a hit finally. All their hands are coated in blood and bile. Anya, oh, she's oh, it's delicious. <laughs> okay, that is a yummy face. Even Mark Weens could not beat that yummy face. This thing is going to be gone in two seconds. Everyone's loving it. I think it's a good dessert after you eat a lot of raw blood, raw bile. It's just nice to have something sweet to finish up the meal, so. That's what they've done here. So far, so good. People here seem to be a big fan of the uh, Twix, not so much of the Twizzler, but I've got another weapon. 
the Rice Krispie bar. Let's just toss it. Yeah, as together. A, Teamwork. Yeah. Oh, and you need some beer. Very crucial. Oh, yeah. You, you can't have this without beer. I'm done with that. Also, uh, really, yeah. no. Hey, guys, there's no beer, so we're going to drink some Remy Martin. Are we drinking Remy Martin? <laughs> As you wish. Uh, yeah, let's do it. You know, it's not even 11 a.m. There's no beer. Let's just start cracking down some hard alcohol. I like it. Yeah. Oh, there is beer. Thank you. Uh, everyone will share from one cup. Is that part of the tradition? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you made that up. <laughs> Thank you. Chúc mừng. Chúc mừng. Năm. Năm. Mới. Yeah. Chúc mừng năm mới. Yeah, chúc mừng năm mới. Let's try some of this. We're just gonna throw it in the bowl like yes. that. It looks fatty, porky, and it's got that sour smell already, that fermented sour pork mm -hmm. smell. Let's try it out. Cheers. Mmm. The whale flapper, metek. Okay, I really hate this smell because it's so strong. It's worth it. I don't know if this knife is good. Let's try to cut it out. I might look struggled. My mom usually do this for me. <laughs> My family, I was used to um, to get this cut out for me. So whenever you get to cut your own metek or anything, I think that's when you feel the most grown up. <laughs> I'm gonna chop it with a homemade. It's inevitable. A lot of categories like cheese, for instance. That cheese will get down here already expired. We haven't even gotten it here yet, and it's already expired. Just because it takes longer than that to even get here. So, we freeze the cheese. The second secret to Antarctic cuisine? Freeze it. That's exactly as it So like that pot. That pot, yeah. Scott used that pot. Yeah, it, Scott used that pot. And this table. Oh, sorry, was I, I probably wasn't supposed to touch it. We'll cut that part out. Scott's team was one of the right. earliest to explore the continent. Okay, I told you I'd cook you something. <laughs> and some of their provisions are literally still on the shelf. Hold this one. All right, no one come back. Where are you going? All right. I just want to point out how Heinz was still a thing this time. Pickling, canning, jarring, and other methods kept these foods shelf-stable for those explorers. And they're still here today. Uncle Roger, like this restaurant they're cooking in? The fire can go so big, bomb can go off, and still no fire alarm fui. Oh, terrorists all over the world excited to visit here now. <laughs> Wasting food. <laughs> Oh, 